Right, okay. Our next speaker uh, is Dave Armstrong, and he's going to be telling us about how to control our agency of the mind and how we can then lead a smarter life. So, who wants to say, Dave Armstrong? Mr. Einstein will now appear, and his famous quote, doing the same things over and over again is insanity. The different, the problem with this is it's in a neg negative context. And what I want to do is offer an alternative, because your brain will only deal with what you see and what you hear. So I'm going to challenge that and say, do lots of intelligent, positive, different things to get results, is sanity. Because when you feed your brain with positive stuff, it reacts. The reason why I know this is 40 years ago, I was in the Falklands conflict. And um, it's not what I did in the Falklands that matters to me. It's actually uh, the, the friends I lost. So my life is now dedicated to get people to live life smarter. And how you live life smarter is controlling this. And what process that goes on in this is agency. So why is agency important? It affects every part of your life. The food you eat, the exercise you do, the house you do, the people you meet, the people you interact with. It happens all the time. The thing with life is, is you can't achieve anything with a disruptive or negative thought. Joe Rogan says, yes, you have to re recognise negative thoughts and feelings, but it's actually doing something with them and changing the narrative. So rather than saying you can't do stuff, say, what can I do? Rather than hating things, you love it. So be intelligently positive, because if you're intelligently positive, anything is possible. Now, agency dictates your safety and happiness. That's a compounding factor on your habits and behaviours. So the more you're negative, the more you will be negative. But the more you're positive, the more you'll be positive. So what is agency? Agency is a three-stage continuous process. You get given an experience, and then you feel that experience, and then you have to take a choice and a decision. So the first part is, to give agency is driven by your senses. So something will happen in front of you in a moment, and your senses will kick in your vision, your taste, and your touch, and it will give it to your body, and it will arrive in your brain. And then when your brain comes and kicks in, it will start working on what you've been given. And that's through your thoughts, your feelings, and your emotions. And what happens there is, you either love something or hate it, can't do this or can't do that. But what you've got to do then ultimately is take agency and the action you take or make. So for example, if I put a chocolate cake in front of this audience now, I'll be giving you agency. If you're on a diet, you shouldn't take it, but you'll willfully lie to yourself and eat the cake and you put on weight. So the agency you take is yours. The responsibility in everything you do in life is yours. So choose wisely. If you see a carpet at the top of the stairs, the visual sight of that carpet will give you agency. You know something can happen. If you don't move it, someone can fall down. And that's the consequences of agency. So that's the age. So no action is the same as action taken. Some idiot said to me, go and do that, Dave, and they gave me agency. But it was all the positive agency that allowed me to get 120 foot, and that's me being presented with the, uh, the awards at the bottom. So the positive, anything is possible. Yeah, that was 1982. This is where the slides slow down. <laughs> that's madness up there, really. So, so agency is taken or given, but there's a compounding effect to agency. If you compound drift, you will actually, from where you are now, you will go to an unsure life. So grab hold of your negativity and destructive agency and turn it into a positive agency. And what that means is when you're given something, look at it positively and destructively and you can improve your life and gain in, in whatever you do. So don't think you can't do something, think you can do something. And that domino effect will do. Now that's on an individual level. But on a cumulative level, if you think negative, and a lot of people think negative, then there'll be a compounding exponential growth of that. But if you think positive, 
and you, everyone else thinks positive, then if we look at Ukraine today, the compounding effect of all negative agencies is anything can be destroyed. And it's just moving love into hate, just reverse it. Some point in time, this has got to become a positive point. The beautiful city we live in at the moment has an amazing thing. And we would compound all our positive agency, anything is possible. And all this Jürgen Klopp has done is turn doubters into believers. And he's created that framework of agency. So be to choose and take your agency wisely, because it's your choice, it's your responsibility. I know what I choose. I choose sanity, not insanity. Sorry, Mr. Einstein. Thank you.